Dun, 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 dun. We're going to talk about the Turbo Edition today and uh, end up going to the Twitter page to try to see if I could find out some more information. And uh, I was originally thinking that the Turbo Edition was coming out next Friday. That's not the release date. It's just going to be the pre-order date. And uh, I'm just going to go to you guys, go to this, tweet, this Twitter page at least, and just read you guys the tweet. And I wanted to come out with it because no one else is talking about the Turbo Edition. I even had someone come over. Uh, and ask some questions about the Turbo Edition and see what else I know. But um, I thought today would be more ideal to talk about this particular um, this game. Since we got the announcement for the trailer and we got our official release date of October 14th. So come to find out, October 14th is the actual release date of the Turbo Edition and the Standard Edition. It doesn't matter which version you get. Or which edition you choose to get you're gonna have access to turbo edition or the standard edition if you want on the same date with october 14th because somebody came over and was talking about asking questions um i was thinking the same thing as this guy he said is that artist is that early access or is that the new edition being available for pre-order so they said confirming turbo edition will be available for pre-order september 23rd so I'm going to head over to the website to tell y'all what it includes. If you don't already know, I'll link y'all to the website if you want to check it out. And uh, you can only pre-order the standard edition for now. So the the turbo edition, I got my eyes on because it includes the character. Let's open up the roster for this game before we start talking about more of it. And I'm curious if anyone out there is going to be getting turbo edition because of the contents that they have. Because the standard edition is not going to have it. Have access to these bonuses or these additional content and rewards unless you buy and pre-order this turbo edition i'm thinking about getting the turbo edition but let's go to the roster something else i want to quickly share they did on to they did show the new arena mode that's called demolition you guys can check that out on their page as well i'm excited to play it but i hope something else that they haven't mentioned I know time trials are going to be there. I want to see the challenges. I want to see bosses like this. Danny Fanta. Let's go to the, the list of characters at the top. Danny Fanta. He's got to catch him all because he's Danny Fanta. You got Stim Stimpy, who are also separate characters. Again, just from the um, watching the trailer. You got Stimpy, Korra, Gur, Reptar. I'm not too happy with Reptar. I'm going to get into it. Reptar, Shredder. You got six bosses. And a good variety of challenges. I like this. I want to see this make a return. Anybody else want this? With bosses? With boss fights some more? So I just wanted to be able to just bring that out. But let's just go to a free race. Let's pick anything. We did everything in the game anyway. But uh, one of my favorite tracks that I got to see from the trailer. That I know is going to be in the game. is Retar Ruins. So I'm going to click on this. You want to see some of these tracks? I want to see Royal Woods Roundabout. That's one of my favorite songs. They got a lot of good tracks. I love every single track in the game. I'm, I'm even surprised JoJo is in the game. Because I didn't think she wouldn't be able to make it in. But let's let's get to the roster. Now, just from last time from when we played Lucy Lau and many more. My favorite character. Let's pick Danny Phantom just because. But um, they have a different variety of characters. Let's put him right here because he's one of the bosses. But um... Let's go up here. Go into the website. You go to pre-order now. And just like they just said, it's going to be available for pre-order. The Turbo Edition pre-orders are going to be accepted the 23rd. And uh, reading what it comes with, when you click on it, because no one else is talking about it and sharing the information, I wanted to share it with all you guys that are fans of the game and the series itself. I'm excited for this game. It looks amazing. The character models look great and more. And it says the Turbo Edition play as Prince Zuko or Eastman. And it says Laird or Lord. I don't know. I highly doubt it. It says Laird Raphael. That looks like an alternate skin. So Prince Zuko is a whole different character that's not even in the main roster. I don't even know if he's going to be part of uh, the standard edition. So say, for example, you want to get you buy the game on release date, October 14th. It was originally supposed to come out the 7th, but it got delayed a week. So that's not really much of a big deal. You want to play as Prince Zuko and you're ready to play as him and you want to pick him up. You get the standard edition. You're going to be in, a, in for a rude awakening. You can't play Zuko. 
you won't have access to that character. So it made me think maybe his stats, see these characters, maybe his stats are going to be really good and he's going to probably be a good character. And this is guy, this is the guy I want to talk about. Retar is one of my favorite characters from Rugrats and uh, he's super, super fun. He's one of the fastest characters in this game. But we're going to talk about him in a few seconds. It also comes with, um, it says plus Shredder, you get Chiefs. It's not about just Zuko being a new character. You get Laird, Laird Raphael. That skin looks pretty fire. And then Eastman. Who is Eastman? Or Eastman. It says Or Eastman and Laird Raphael. Then it says plus Shredder and Fire Lord Ozai Chiefs. So you get a brand new character, an alternate skin that looks pretty pretty good with Raphael, and then you get new Chiefs. You get two new Chiefs. Shredder, he's not a playable character. So that this shows that Shredder is not even a, a playable racer like he is in this game for Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arch Nemesis. So they moved him to the Chief. So you get Shredder and Fire Lord Ozai Chiefs two slime theme parts and then two new vehicle paint schemes so that's what the turbo edition comes with y'all think it's worth it because when you close it out the game is like 50 bucks let me just confirm this real quick the game is like 50 bucks we go to games now because i'm getting mine from there and i'm gonna definitely get that turbo edition if the game is really 50 bucks i'm gonna start predicting just going on the website when you look it up, PS4, $49.99, PS5, I'm getting on PS5, $49.99 for the full game. But when you go to the GameStop website, it says it's supposed to be October 7th. So they got to fix the date because they haven't really got that information yet, considering when the full game comes out the 14th. But this is going to be a $50 game. Now, all things considered, since it's going to be like 50 bucks. The, the Turbo Edition is probably going to be 60, 60, you know, a little bit over $60. That's just one of my guesses. I don't think it's going to be 70 bucks. I mean, just no way. Because going back to it, you get a character. Let's see. That's a, that's a brand new character. Brand new character, a new skin, a new alternate skin, two additional chiefs, Lord Ozai, Fire Lord Ozai, and then Shredder. And then you get two slime parts and two vehicle paint schemes, or basically two paint designs or paint jobs, something like that. I don't think it's going to be $70. I think it's going to be a little bit over $60. Maybe it'll get closer to 70 bucks for a Turbo Edition. But my guess is going to be over sixty dollars, a little bit over sixty, because the the full retail price is over fifty bucks for sure. So it's probably going to be like fifty three, fifty three dollars and something like that, and some change, at the max. And then the Turbo Edition is probably going to be like sixty, a little bit over sixty, just a guess. And I think it's going to be worth it because a lot of people want to probably play this character, and then the alternate skin itself. That makes me come. Let's, let's start talking about Reptar. Because Reptar has an alternate skin, purple Reptar, which is also the same alternate skin that's in Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. You can change the skin within the click of a button. You see what I'm talking about? Look, look at the screen. See how it says options? They can probably add in a button implement or a button mechanic where you can just change the skin. Why does Reptar have an alternate slot? Another additional slot that could have been given to Timmy Turner or any sort of other Nickelodeon reps that deserves to be in the game like Chalk Zone, not even just Fairly Odd Parents, LT Gray and many more deserving characters. Why did they do that with that alternate slot? And some people said, well, Mario Kart has done it, but they don't really, they can be original and do their own thing. They don't have to just be looking at some other game just to get their ideas. I think that's a wasted slot. And then with Raphael having this alternate skin, layered. It could be layered or layered. Raphael. This skin, cause he's going to probably have two slots as well. Is Zuko going to have an alternate skin? It doesn't really, really go into that when you go into the details to click on it. 
So the Turbo Edition is just going to be open for pre-orders next Friday. So I'm going to try to jump on it and try to find out how much it really is. But I highly doubt it's going to be over $70. There's just no way. I think around that mid-60, around the mid-60 dollar price, I think that's probably going to be um, a good price for all this. Another, a brand new character that's a playable racer, an alternate skin, and then you get two Chiefs. Shredder, you see, it doesn't, I don't know if y'all would say this, does it come off as pay to win? Because maybe Zuko's definitely going to have some monster stats. Shredder's going to have a crazy ability as a Chi. Fire Lord Ozai, who knows what he's going to be capable of. And then with these two slime theme parts, you got the slime wheels. Let's click on him real quick. Let me see. So they got Zuko. See, he graduated from being the chief. He was a playable racer. But they move. It's like they flip-flop. Zuko becomes a racer, a playable racer, and then Shredder becomes a chief. Isn't that something? Let me see something. So you got the slime. Here it is. Here it is. You got the slime wheels. You get two slime theme parts. So I'm including. I'm, 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 in, I'm guessing that's got to be the wheels because it shows it on display. And then you get the engine for sure because it's right there. Is it going to be anything else that it comes with? So here it is. You get the exhaust pipe and then the wheels according to the image. But it could be more. Maybe some things that's in the Turbo Edition that they haven't even told us. So it just it poses so many questions. But I'm just glad that they came out yesterday to confirm that the, the Turbo Edition doesn't come out the 23rd. Because I was getting a little scared. It's like, dang, the game is actually going to come out the 23rd for early access. And not many people are probably going to be able to get access to the Turbo Edition to play early. But Turbo Edition comes out the same date. The same day, October 14th, as the Standard Edition. I'm definitely getting the Turbo Edition. And then it's only a $50 game. You would, you would think a PlayStation 5 is a PlayStation 5 game in full is $70. But I think this game, this Turbo Edition, is going to be a little bit over $60. Just a guess. I highly doubt that it's going to be $70. I don't think they would go that ridiculously high for this sort of turbo edition you know if there's a, some other edition outside of the turbo that you can upgrade beyond i would definitely understand it would probably go beyond uh like a collector's edition where you get some collectibles see what i'm saying some people get those collector's editions where you get those different collectibles different uh art books and posters and a figurine little toy collectible that you could put in put into your uh setup to design it even more and for decoration for decoration purposes and stuff so this turbo edition is looking pretty good though but if just with the alternate scan with reps are let's go to some of these characters in this roster purple scan purple reps are being a separate character i wonder if he's going to have a different stats maybe he's going to be slightly faster maybe you'll have a, his advantages and disadvantages in comparison to the re, the original the real reps are i'll say but I just can't believe they did that. And now, since Raphael has his own alternate skin in this Turbo Edition, it looks fire. It looks good. He might he might have two slots, too. You did it for Reptar. You did it for Raphael. You might as well do it to Raphael as well. And then all the other characters in the game, they don't have alternate skins. So to see how it opens up more questions, does Leonardo have an alternate skin with characters that we know that's in the game? Lincoln, Clyde. Gerald and all the other characters that's in the game, do they have alternate skins that we got to see? Jeannie Wakeman, she should have her um, the flame skin, the hot rod skin. That could be an alternate slot too. But they got some things that they haven't even shown us. But we only got we only got a glimpse of the gameplay, the first glimpse of the gameplay. They might even bring out another trailer. They might even show more stuff that we don't know about this Friday. Because they still have to reveal those two mystery characters who a lot of people say that is Jimmy Neutron and um, and Cindy Vortex. And I got the picture of the roster for some of the characters. I'll talk about them and just try to try to reveal them in the, just for all in one. But just looking at the character models, it looks pretty good. You got Jimmy, Cindy, Leonardo, Michelangelo. 
Well, of course, I already talked about the Turbo Edition. So, Zuko is basically exclusive to the Turbo Edition. Jimmy Neutron, Cindy, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Chucky. Somebody said it's, it's Susie after Chucky and then Adi. But then the three other slots, we still got three missing characters. So they could be anybody. And I'm, so, I'm, I'm wondering if one of those characters could be Timmy Turner. Because those two missing slots, I'm not even sure. Because when you go to the original image on the website that you guys will be able to see, it's 11 missing slots of characters. And if you can guess all the characters, you get a free copy of the game, a free digital copy of the game. But um, I'm, I'm definitely going to jump on that Turbo Edition. It definitely seems like it's worth it. Not even just because Zuko's in it, that skin is fire. And then I want to definitely play and have access to those new chiefs, Shredder and Fire Lord Ozai. And then you get the slime parts too. I think if you have the Turbo Edition, you're gonna be already be at, you're gonna be at an advantage online, and it's gonna be a lot of people probably using Zuko to use him as a main, because who knows what kind of stats he's gonna have in comparison to characters like JoJo that's in it, you know, Aang and many more characters, but they have so many others that's missing, and then Potter Toastman being in the game that's really surprising, because he was a chief in in, in as well. But just having two alternate skins, you know, two of the same character as an alternate skin, it's just wasted, wasted potential for the slot, for another character to be able to get in. That's the only thing that's my major gripe about this game. Everything else looks amazing with the character models and more from what they revealed on the website. Everybody looks good. I'm excited to try the bike racing and more. I hope they brought back the boss fights, just like I mentioned before. The online, it's going to be so much fun. I definitely think it's worth getting the Turbo Edition, especially if you want the character, but um, it might even include more. They could have did like a season pass or something like that, but we don't even know if the game is going to have DLC, but we'll just have to see, see what happens. Well, let me know what you guys think. Are you going to get the Turbo Edition? Do you think it's worth it? Maybe you're going to wait, wait and see when it comes out. But the pre-orders, the pre-orders are opening up the 23rd next Friday. So I just wanted to inform everybody so no one's lost. Because I was clueless. I was lost. I thought that the game came out. I said, man, I got to get the uh, the Turbo Edition for next week for sure. And uh, make sure I don't miss it. Because you're, you're not going to be able to have access to Zuko, the new skin. And then that's two additional Chiefs that you can play. But I don't like how they did that, though. I really don't. Because other people will miss out on that, that said character. And uh, they'll be at a disadvantage. But they could have added way more characters. They could have put Timmy up in there for the Turbo Edition. For additional characters. Maybe Zuko can count as technically DLC. Because he's exclusive to this special edition. For Turbo Edition and more. But um, I just wanted to let everybody know. Because uh, no one else has come out with any sort of detailed video to talk about it. And uh, now that they confirmed that the pre-orders open for Turbo Edition next week, for next Friday, people can know uh, how to get access to it and what to look out for. And it's not early access, it's just the pre-orders opening up and then you won't have access to the game until, until the full release date on the 14th.